battle. Oh, it's so cold in here. And I can't type a report with mittens on. Polar Beast to Yuri, urgent request for immediate delivery of heating units. I am freezing. Over. Da, da, go for your polar missus. Now deliver heaters units as possible as soon. <laughs> what the? Oh, rabbit's there. What? Seriously? How did they manage to... Are they really fighting over a mini pretzel? generator looks dead. Dead? Are you kidding me? But hey, I'll just cobble something else together. <laughs> it's not a problem. Cobble something else? <laughs> Ta-da! Take a look at this sweet little baby. All we gotta do is make this wheel turn, and we can generate electricity. See? Easy peasy. <laughs> uh, right, and what? You're gonna run inside it? Who, me? No, but they will. Perfect. Let's go. John, I'm impressed. Your invention actually worked for, uh, 12 seconds. Yeah, it's nothing. It's just a little problem with motivation. I'm a genius. Can you believe it, Gina? We're producing electricity with rapid power. It's a revolutionary idea. Well, it sort of works, at least for now. But I'm still freezing. Can't wait for those heating units. I've invented the energy of tomorrow. I'm going to be rich. <laughs>
It's your turn to be a hero. I drop radiators now. Please not standing below. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bad timing, Yuri. Don't worry, boss. Here I come! Mm-hmm. 
Rubex. Oh, 
fresh air at last. It's gonna be awesome to camp out in the forest, just the two of us. Right, Grandma? You said it, Zacky. It'll make a nice change from your computer screens and all those wacky stories about alien beavers. Alien rabbits, Grandma. And then... Oh, whatever. Where are the sleeping bags? And the tent? What for? We'll sleep on the ground. And tomorrow we'll go chop down a few trees, just like I used to do back in my lumberjack days. Uh, let me just order a sleeping bag on the internet. Uh, certainly not. Uh, no technology this uh, weekend. Uh, <sighs> All right, let's get some shut eye. Good night, Zacky Poo. <laughs> Destination changed. <laughs> Man, no sleeping bag, no tent, lots of creepy crawl. Ah! What the? Oh, no.
Space time functions activated. Destination minus three million cubes. Destination changed. <laughs> Rabbits want to take over the world, and they almost chopped us into pieces. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I always remove the chain, otherwise it's way too dangerous.
to welcome our special guest today, the most famous astronaut to have walked on the moon. Oh, no, that's no good. I am happy to welcome <laughs> We're live in one minute. Get away from me. Decaf day for you. We're on in five, four, three. <clears throat> Today, I am happy to welcome the most famous astronaut to have ever walked the moon. What is he doing on the set? Get out of here! Go on! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
and sit up straight. Your photo session will begin in just a few seconds. <laughs> It simply needs to push the big red button to open the box and take the radishes. And you think that's possible? Yes. Too complicated, John. There's no way we can send this idiot to the moon. We're done here. I think you've made enough of a fool of yourself for today. Show them all. Once I get the Nobel Prize, they'll have to recognize my genius. My mind explorer is ready at last. I'll be the very first man to enter the brain of a rabbit. <laughs> February 7th, the being rabbit experiment begins. This recording is for future generations. You're so lucky. You're going to be as smart as me. Ma? Ah? 
has gone insane. I have no choice but to use technology to control him. Science will forgive me! The monster has taken hold of the remote control! I've got to get it back. Here, boy. Look at this beautiful radish. Go fetch! Ha! work so early if you're just going to sleep. Boss, it's me! It's me! Huh? John, did you teach him how to speak? He's the rabbit! He's me and I'm him! You get it? Ugh, what nonsense. These rabbits are still just as stupid as ever. These ridiculous experiments are over. Next! <laughs> Bye. 
Ha <laughs> ha! 